Okay, this video is about Noah. No, I'm just messing with you. It's not about Noah and his ark, but that would be a pretty good interview finding out how many fish he caught while he was on this big ship. Now, this is a different Noah. This is about an agency called the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. It's a government agency. It's part of the Department of Commerce. It was founded back in 1970 by none other than Tricky Dick himself. That's right, Richard Nixon founded this, and uh, what they do is they monitor the uh, waterways and our atmosphere, and you say, well, how's that going to help me as a pompano fisherman? Well, they've got these little bad boys stationed all around the coast, and they monitor all sorts of things, everything from air temp to water temp to wave height, and as pompano fishermen, we look forward to the season where the pompano start coming in. And I found that right around 75 degrees, I catch the most pompano. Now, you'll catch them, you know, a few degrees warmer, a few degrees colder. But this is what helps me determine when I'm getting close to a good temp to catch pompano. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an extensive list of web links that will bring you to all sorts of these buoys. And depending on where you live, you know, I, I've started them from uh, all the way at the top of the list. I started it uh, with Maine, and I go all the way to Louisiana. And what I'll do is I'll bring you to a site. Uh, now, I've got it bookmarked on my browser here called Water Temp. But uh, let's, uh, let's go to the one that I watch all the time, and that's Fort Pierce on the Treasure Coast. Now, it shows you on this map the one we're looking at because anytime you select one, the uh, little yellow square here is a little bit bigger. And you can navigate this yourself. You know, you can uh, click on this map and you can scroll around and find the buoys in your area and i'll show you that in a second but i want to show you what i'm monitoring here now you can see because this buoy is a little bit farther off of the uh off of the beach it does monitor wave height but you know you can get the wave height off of a lot of the surfing sites uh, this is the one that is really going to help you as a pompano fisherman you can see that uh, on September 26 at 9 a.m., that water temp was 82.8. So, uh, and that's what I'm going to be watching. Now, let's go back up here. And, uh, you know, you've got all sorts of different uh, specs here, too. And if you want to learn more about those, you can, uh, uh, you can go down here, and I'm sure they have a uh, description of measurements. Yep, right here. And if you click on that, it'll tell you what everything means down here. There's your wave height and there's your water temperature there. But uh, let's go to, back to our map and I'll show you how to navigate this yourself if you don't want to use my links. But uh, just click on the map once and then you can scroll out or you can use the minus sign and you can go to the area where you fish. You know, maybe you're over here uh, in the Gulf Coast and you're up here. So you can click on one of these and it'll bring you to the site. Now, I don't think I picked a very good one here, so you may want to use the ones that I gave you. But uh, anyways, that's how you navigate it. And it's pretty easy and it's very uh, useful information. So, you know, I, I use it all the time. And if, if the water temp is in the 80s, well, I, I can tell you that, you know, you're just not going to catch Pompano in my area when it's that warm. So, I hope this helps you out, and like I say, just go to that info section of this video, and you'll see all those links that I talked about. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my Pompano Brownie channel, and that'll do it for this video.